Nice to see you all again. It's the uh, November issue of the Mover magazine and I'm just back from the IAM conference, which I know many of you have been to, uh, which was a jolly affair in uh, in Las Vegas. Um, interesting place for a conference. Uh, and I use the word interesting in the broadest sense. Uh, but uh, I hope you all had a good time anyway and that the, the conference was, was uh, useful for you. I'm sure it was. Uh, I thought it was an excellent uh, thing, even though I'm not particularly fond of Las Vegas, but there, there we are. Um, th that will all be in the next issue, not this one, uh, but the next issue, but some of the reports from there. Uh, this time we've got um, lots of things for you to have a have a look at, including some quite big interviews. Uh, the, there's one of the major interviews is with um, Ron Dun Dunlap. You know, Ron's just taken over as the uh, um, CEO of, um, of Grable. And I know that obviously Grable is a, a very important uh, moving company, but a lot of you get a lot of your business from from Grable. And so I thought you'd be interested to see how the new boss thinks and what his what his uh, style is, and uh, a bit about um, uh, what he's got planned for the future, because that's likely to influence all of us. Um, there's also an interview with um, uh, Andreas Eichinger from. Uh, from AMO in Germany. Now, AMO is the German Trade Association, and that association has recently rejoined Fedimac, and I was interested to know a little bit about why um, and what his plans were. And it was very interesting because um, some of you will know that Fedimac used to be very much involved with lobbying uh, with the European government, and uh, that is something that is very dear to Andres's heart, and he is going to be very much involved in that side of the uh, the business in the future. Uh, so um, I thought that was both interesting and important. So so that's in the magazine too. Uh, what else have we got? There's a, an interesting survey from Crown, uh, which is looking at um, cultural differences. And uh, interestingly, the, the, the conclusion is that the uh, it, people are finding it more difficult to settle in new countries, and that's partly because of technology. Now, you would have thought that technology would have been helpful to them, but actually it's not in some ways because they've got to get to grips with it. And it, we all know how difficult it is doing it at home, you know, when you're constantly asked to download an app to do the simplest thing. Uh, but imagine how difficult it is when you're in a foreign country working in a different language uh, and so on. But interesting um, survey, I thought. Um, the, what else have we got? We've got a, a bit of a preview of the Movers and Stores show that is going to be coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, I know that a lot of you in the UK will be going to that, and I hope to see you there. Uh, there's an interview with a company in the Netherlands called Transpac, and Transpac are uh, they're, they're purely involved in um, in groupage, uh, both private groupage and also trade groupage, which is seeing something of a resurgency in the industry, partly because of the, um, of the need for corporations to find more sustainable ways of shipping things around the world rather than um, you know, putting uh, shipping full containers uh, that are only half full, that kind of thing. Uh, so that was interesting, I thought. And we've also got a contribution from uh, our great friend Larry Kruger, who is... Uh, uh, who's always got a lot to say, and uh, he says it in an amusing way. But uh, there's a there's always a a, a a shred of very good sense in what he says. And uh, this time is he's asking whether the middleman model is dead, and he's talking about the relocation management companies. Of course, um, you will all have your own opinions on that. Uh, but I urge you to read Larry, Larry's story. It's always always worth a read. Uh, anyway, there we are. There's, uh, there's that plus much more in the November issue. I hope you enjoy reading it and I'll see you all again soon.